just like that. And then we take our cover and we mount it right back into position. Now let's do the upper one. Okay, so we've got the lower one buttoned all back up. Let's do the upper one. Same rules apply. Again, not a bad idea to have the unit de-energized at this moment because as we're snapping all of this stuff on, we might accidentally touch something. First thing we're gonna do is put our cover back on. These covers, they've got four alignment, uh, alignment rods on the back of it, and then it's got a snap hook over here. So these alignment rods will slide down the, the side channels of the unit and then the top just kind of snaps on. It just kind of sits over it just like that. Next piece to go in is again, our really important piece of foam. So we take our foam and pack it in there and then we fold these wires back over it to kind of help hold the foam in place. And then last but not least, we have our nice decorative cover. and our unit is all back together. So right now we could go turn the breaker back on, re-energize the unit, and it'll be back in service. So, key takeaways from today's video. Remember your math. Um, wattage divided by voltage equals amperage. So, your elements will tell you what wattage they are. You're checking the voltage to verify exactly what voltage you're getting. And then the next thing you want to do is do that math to learn how many amps you should be looking for. You check one wire at a time, you look for those amps, and that will lead you into the right direction as to which element is causing you the problem.